it's your girl Amber, and today we're gonna do something very different because I received a surprise gift in the mail right now from Chris London. Wow, look at the colors, the laces. It feels very sneaker inspired. What's going on here? Ooh, it says you've been selected to participate in the great gift exchange. Yes. Okay, so I need to go to this website and check it out. Hey. It's Alton Delaney, the world's most famous gift wrap artist. You have been selected to be a part of YouTube's Great Gift Exchange, where you and 11 other creators will participate in a chain of charitable gift giving. Yay, this is awesome. You will each be assigned a creator, and as a gift, each of you will make a donation to a charity that is important to your recipient. Aww. And then you will be whisked away to my magical wrap shop, Magic. Where I'll teach you how to gift wrap the creator's donation in a thoughtful way. You're probably curious about what's inside your present, so I'll tell you what. Go open that darn thing. I'll wait. Oh my gosh, the suspense. Okay, 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 okay. I don't even want to open this. Look how beautiful this is. Okay, before we open this, I just have to say, I really appreciate you, you know, creating something that we both love, but making it me with this rainbow of laces. That's amazing. Let's open up the box. Here we go, here we go. Oh my God, it's a little sneaker boot. Oh, wow. It's like a snow boot because there's snowflakes on it. Ooh. Okay, first thing I find is a cool, ooh. Okay, we're gonna go back to this. Look at this. I love cool socks. Everybody knows you need some really cool socks. This is awesome. Look at that. And a card, ready? Chris London has made a charitable donation to Lunch On Me In Your Name. Oh, yay! Thank you so much, Chris. That's so awesome. Lunch On Me is dear to my heart. They feed the homeless out here in Los Angeles. It's healthy, it's organic, and it's really amazing what they do. So if you can, definitely support them. So thank you so much, Chris. This is so dear to my heart and I really appreciate this. Okay, you guys, let me check back in and watch the rest of this video and see what's up with this Alton character. Without further ado. <laughs> I took years of modern dance. Let's find out who your lucky gift recipient is. Yay, this is what I wanted to find out. Okay, who is it? What? Oh, come on. All right, Amber, your official gift recipient is the joyful Janelle Ileana. Yay, Janelle, oh my gosh. Oh. Yes, I've been following her on Instagram and literally when she had like 3,000 followers. Girl, I was there at the beginning, okay? I'll see you at the wrap shop. Enjoy the train ride. Choo-choo! Let's go to the shop, let's go! So to the wrap shop went Amber with haste. Oh my God, I'm living my best holiday life and everybody needs to see it. To put a big smile upon Janelle's face. Hello. You may be wondering what all this is. I'm gonna tell you. I cannot wait for today's guest, who's Amber of Amber's Closet. <gasps> she vlogs about fashion, about activism, and about LGBTQ plus issues which are issues that are also very near and dear to me. In fact, when I came out of the closet, I came out wearing the entire closet. <laughs> it's time for me and Amber to send our gift wrap down the runway. One fell. Amber, welcome to the wrap shop. Yay! How was the train ride? The view was amazing. And this view is great too. You look terrific. Thank you. You look great. Well, thank you. Fashion for me is so important. I love dressing up. Obviously, I love gift wrap. And I feel like if you get a fabulous gift and you just like 
throw it in a gift bag. It's like walking down the runway in sweatpants or something. You just made me realize I need to step my game up. Step I cannot up. be a lazy gift giver. Tell me about your recipient. Who is Janelle? I don't want to just tell you. I want to show you. So I got a whole presentation for you. Okay. So she lives in her converted van, blogs her everyday life with her pet snake, Alfredo. You thought that train was small. Imagine if your whole world was in a van. I know, and she stays so stylish, and like I don't even know how she does it or where she keeps all her clothes. What kind of ideas do you have for a gift for Janelle? I know that she's really passionate about the Covenant House, which provides food, shelter, and supplies and resources to the homeless and runaway youth. Like myself, she does a good amount of thrifting, and she looks so fabulous doing it. She loves to recycle things. Okay. And so I think we should stay along that, that oh, vibe for her. Yeah. My wheels are turning up here. And is there anything else we should know about the gift? So I do actually have a gift for her pet snake, Alfredo, but I'm gonna have to show you later. Well, I think this will be the first time we've gifted a reptile. Perfect. So Amber, without further ado, shall we adjourn to the rap station? Yes, let's go. Round and a round applause. of applause. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. I love it. Always. Amber, welcome to my wrap bench. Mm -hmm. So this is a wrap I like to call the wardrobe wrap. It's when you're wrapping an item in a kind of shirt box size wrap. OK. And no pressure, Amber, but these gifts are actually going to go to children in need. Wow. We have these super cute pajamas, holiday pajamas in here. What kid doesn't like those? OK, so roll my paper out, and then I turn my box upside down. You always want to wrap from the bottom of the box. Oh, yeah. My double-sided tape is my favorite thing. I step my game up. We're gonna take our white paper, we're gonna fold it in on itself, and you really wanna burnish this down. What's burnishing? Well, burnishing is when you really crease, crease, crease that seam so you get that really sharp, tight fold. Oh, okay, I'm just one of those people, I'm like, I need to use it in a sentence. <laughs> fold it like this. Ta-da! Ta-da! Your wrap is about to become, ready? Drum roll, please. <laughs> The ugly sweater wrap! Yay! You're gonna take that down and then you have all of those fabulous and not so fabulous accessories down there to bunk up this gift wrap. And in my case, I'm gonna turn it into the tuxedo wrap. So this Ooh. is the super dressed up version of this gift wrap. Now I'm going to add shirt studs. I'm going to copy Amber here, who used the rhinestones. Every single Christmas, my mom would always say, you can open up one gift the night before, right? OK. And then we'd be excited every year, but every year it was pajamas to wear <laughs> for that night. But now, being older, I appreciate it. And now I'm going to add a bow tie to this. This is great for, like, if you're going to a wedding for, like, the groom mm -hmm. or the bride, if she's wearing a tuxedo, right? That's something I would wear. Oh, I'm loving the pom-poms. Wait, what's that sound? It sounds like the holidays here. Yep, it's come Prince or come Vixen, come, you know, all those things. All of them. This is the wardrobe wrap, and we've taken it in two totally different directions. Definitely. By using the same fundamentals. So if anybody asks, I did this. Uh, you know, I was listening earlier when you were saying that you like thrift shopping. Yes. So I thought, what a great way to bring all those elements in together for this custom gift wrap just for her. Bandanas and denim are literally two of my favorite things to wear. What we're making here is a reusable keepsake box. We're just going to lightly trace around the box. I'm so worried about it being crooked because well, I don't know what straight is. <laughs> <laughs> but um, bum. So we've got some glue here, and this process is called decoupage. Decoupage. Yeah. They speak French, wee oui, wee. Oui. Oh, yeah. So now we are going to position our bandana. Ooh, look at that straight edge right there. Oh, my god, perfect, perfect. Ooh, you see that? I'm lining the inside of the box, too, with little <gasps> strips of bandana. By putting a little extra time into lining the box, you can take something like packaging that's probably normally just going to be tossed out and transform it into a reusable keepsake box. These keepsake boxes are great and very handy. You can use them for all kinds of storage and organizational projects, and it just will remind you of that fun experience of getting that present. Da 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 da. And here is Janelle's keepsake bandana box. Yay! Do you have the donation to go inside the box? I do. OK, so we're going to give her a donation, but I also have a special gift. What? For Alfredo! 
Oh my gosh, a tiny little sweater for Look Alfredo. Look how cute this is. Amazing. The little donation fits right inside perfect. of the little sweater. Yay. And that's, so it makes like the perfect envelope for that. It's so cute. Everyone's gonna love this. She did this. Girl, I got you. All right, Amber, so here is the actual box that we've created with the gift inside. I know you're into thrifting, and I know Janelle is too, mm -hmm. and so the concept I came up with is wrapping using recycled denim and some other little items here that you're gonna see. So what I've done here is I've taken some jeans, I've cut out like the back leg with the Ooh. pocket on it, positioned the pockets on the top of the box. I like it, I'm feeling confident. So these are called crimping, no they're not. These are called pinking, think pink. These are called pinking shears and they have that little uh, serrated jagged edge on there because when you cut fabric, it keeps it from fraying. Okay. So you're gonna use your pinking shears to like cut off any excess there because you want just enough to wrap over oh, got like it. that. We've got the super sticky double-sided tape. You're gonna put it on this part. Let me make sure that's on there good. Some of these things are when like big hands are not cute right. to have. Or short fingernails. Oh my gosh. Or not, not, not a tool. Yeah, in my community, we have to have short fingernails. <laughs> so I've heard. 30 minutes later. Yes. Yay! 30 minutes later. So now that we've got the, the end, we're gonna do the sides the same way. So while you're working on that, I wanna show you mm -hmm. another quick little wrap here. So I've cut the leg off of a jean here. It's kind of a, a wide, jean. So we take the jean leg, I pull it inside out, and then I'm just gonna tump it over and staple the bottom of it. It seals the bottom. Turn it back inside out. Now you've created like a, a recycled, repurposed gift bag, <gasps> which is great for the Chateau de Blanche, which means the castle of gift wrapping. Really? You think I would kid you? I believe everything you're saying, <laughs> first of all. And look, you just throw that in, and then you could even use like a scrap of bandana, comme ci, comme ça. You're recycling something that's probably already around the house, and you're creating this fun, unique, and fashionable gift bag. I'm stealing that idea. Je ne sais quoi. Now, I thought what we would do is add a custom bandana kind of pocket square into this pocket. Ooh. I like to line up a bunch of points, so I'm just gonna fold mine into like multiple points. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I mean, super fast and oh, easy wow. and cute. And watch out Bruce Springsteen, here we come. Wait, let me see yours. Sure. Both cheeks. Hey. Watch me walk away. <laughs> watch me walk away. Isn't that cute? Very cute. We're gonna add one last touch to this. We've got you some leather cord there. Oh my God. And we thought we would just wrap a few rounds around it like a ribbon. Oh, you're just going for it. I just go for it. Oh, this is actually cute because it's got- got a little bondage going on here. Oh. And it's a runaway leather cord. Runaway. Here, let me grab this. I needed him earlier. And I need you to stop causing trouble. I know, right? Coking stone plus terre. And voila. There we have it. We've created a wrap completely out of using recycled material and we just embellished it with some leather cord. And what a cool gift. <laughs> Amber, I hope you had fun today, and I just want to thank you so much for making the long journey out to the wrap shop. Listen, I had so much fun, but I gotta catch that train. I'm about to grab that bottle of bubbly that we wrapped, and I'm gonna enjoy that on the train ride home. Make sure you guys go and check out Janelle Aliana's page so you guys can see her reaction to the gift that I gave her. I love you so much. Stay amazing, stay proud, and stay woke. Peace. And for now, for the Great Gift Exchange, that's, that's a wrap. <laughs> I should have stretched before we did that. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Oh, son of a blitzen! The train then departed as the snow round it fell, packed with surprises for creator Janelle. I am so stoked to have received this present. It is so rare for me to receive mail at all. This is such unique wrapping. <laughs> is this for Alfredo? <laughs> Amber, all this holiday cheer does not need to end here. Choose one more creator for the giving train and let's start a whole new chain. I love this. Let me think about that and let's see what happens from here.